Since the late 1980s, Michigan State University biologist Richard Lenski has been running a long-term evolution experiment with E. coli bacteria. That's equivalent to, say, a, a million years in the lifespan of a large animal like us. And there have been trillions upon trillions of different bacteria that have been born and died in, in his uh, flasks. Although often cited as providing evidence for Darwin's theory, Linsky's experiments are perhaps most revealing in what they haven't produced. We don't find a new protein with a new fold with a new function. By and large, these are deletions, insertions, rearrangements of information that's, that's already present. He didn't see anything like uh, the evolution of some new complex system like the flagellum. Nothing remotely like that. At some point, you're going to have to show that you have a gene with one function has now evolved into a gene with a different function, different protein folds, and we're still waiting. What we see going on in the Lenski laboratory and other places too is that Darwinian processes or random processes degrade information. They do not build it. They are not putting in new information. They might tweak something here or there. And at the margins, you can have differences about what you call information. Taken together, this flood of new data has raised a powerful challenge to claims that natural selection can explain the origin of new functional genes and proteins, let alone a complex biological machine like the flagellum.